Over the centuries, this paradisal corner of southwestern France has produced millions of bottles of the world's most famous wines, and none more famous than the vintage commissioned by Napoleon himself for his beloved wife, Josephine. Now the last remaining bottle of this legendary Bordeaux will be presented to the President of the United States this Christmas Eve as a token of the enduring bond uh, between us. What a waste. Might as well give a Ferrari to a ring-tailed ferret. That's heaven in a glass, I'm guessing. Come now. Surely you don't prefer that stuff to sake. It's called sake because it tastes like you wrung it out of your tube socks. And another thing, man, don't call me Shirley. I just can't imagine a more romantic gesture than creating a wine for your lover. I mean, if a guy ever did that for me, I'd be putty in his hands. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm no emperor, but I could get you that very bottle. Lupin? Really? You're not serious, are you? Bartender, you have to cut this man off now. Hey, I'm serious and sober. <laughs> oh, Lupin. Goimon, one sip would even convert you. I'll bet one sip of that stuff would have been enough to even convert Bill W. But Lupin, buddy, how the hell are you going to find out exactly where it is? Oh, that's the simple part. I've already figured that one out. To the Emperor of Thieves. And may the next toast be with a liquid testament to a legendary love instead of this purgatory in a snifter. <laughs> A big glass of cheap wine bread you to break your teeth on, and they call this eating. No wonder they can't win a war. <laughs> Ow. I'd kill for a double cheeseburger and some fries. A letter for you, sir. What? A letter? Huh? Nice. I wonder if it's from Mother. Lupin! Hey, Pops, you know that famous bottle of wine that's going to Washington for the president? Well, it's not. Catch you later, Lupin. P.S. Don't you ever take that coat off. Ugh, that no good. He's just taunting me. Damn you! Uh -huh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, wow, what did I... Look at this, man. Nothing but vineyards and chateaus as far as the eye can see. It's like going back in time. You know, they've been producing wine here since Roman times, but winemaking's much older than that. Hey, listen to me, will ya? I should have a public television show, you know? Here they are. Right on time. Work like a charm. Just announce you're gonna steal it and old pops will lead you right to it. That's a stroke of genius. Ah, you big flatterer, you're making me blush. This bastard challenged me personally. This is war! Professional courtesy dictates you include me in your security team. Please! Trust me, Inspector, these men are up to the job. They're the very best. There's no need to worry. But I'm telling you, I'm the only one in the world who can capture this guy. I know what you are saying, but then why have you not captured him? Uh... Well, hmm. Well, I suppose as a professional courtesy you can observe. Well, really, Chief, you mean it? Just uh, try not to interfere with the operation. Of course not. By the way, where is that bottle of wine? I'll take you there now. Just follow me, Inspector Origami. Hey, the name's not Origami, it's Zenagata. Okay, guys, time to play follow the leader. <laughs> you too! Uh, me? Uh, I didn't see a thing. Better cover you up. <laughs> Bye! Was that? Just a local greeting. He's saying hello? Something of a local custom. People are very warm in these parts. How nice. 
Parlez-vous, Jacques-Cousteau? Non, va! Bon Jovi! How much longer do I have to keep this up? It is all up to you, Inspector Epic Lotus. It's in a gutter! Ah, then he gotta lead me right to the chateau. And they've got all the guards stationed inside so they won't draw attention. Hopefully, I won't draw any either. Hello, bonjour! What is it you want, old fellow? Well, these barrels have to get down to the wine cellar. <coughs> oh, my back is not what it used to be. <coughs> Yes, hard to believe. I was once as strong as you two. Okay, we get the point, old timer. Ah, uh, easy, boys. Easy now. I mean, uh, <laughs> they'll go along quietly, they will. As long as you treat them nice, huh? Oh, oh, oh. oh bonjour, they're ready. What is going on here? <coughs> Hello, bonjour. I'm here with the wine delivery. I say we check these barrels out, Chief. I mean, you never know. I know my job, Inspector Terry Hatta. Zanagata! How many times do I have to tell you? <laughs> Here, let me see that. May we? Hmm? Yeah, all right, but check them all. <laughs> Voila! He's one, He's okay. all right. All right, then, help him get these into the cellar. Yeah. Hey, slow down. You want them to get all dizzy in there? Dizzy? Uh, fizzy. I said fizzy. Fine for champagne, but not for this stuff. <laughs> All right, old fellow, so tell me, where do you want these things to go? Well, now, that all depends, you see, mon ami. Got to find three empty ones. Oh, no, you got to be kidding. Ah, it'll only take a couple of hours. Course, it could go a little faster with your help. Hey, we are policemen, not your servants. Let us know when you are done, we will escort you out. Sacre bleu, can you believe it? Uh, with an operator. No, oh, my back. <laughs> okay, the coast is clear. <sighs> hmm. This would be real homey if I were a spider or a corpse. Actually, it's perfect for wine storage. <clears throat> you see, the coolness in the dark allow it to age without spoiling. So this must be the place where Dick Clark lives. Lupin, let's just grab this bottle and vamoose, okay? Sure, it's uh, right over there. Uh, could you be just a little bit more specific? How in the world are we ever going to find it? Well, uh, I'm pretty certain the bottle's green. Well, that's a lot of help. Ha! Told you this time! It's not even here, Lupin! What? Damn it! What do you mean? I knew you were setting me up, Lupin. You had no idea where the bottle was. But I turned the tables on you, Lupin! I had him take me to the wrong place, and now you're hoist on your own whatever you call it. Petard! It's called a damn petard! Why can't I give a damn? You're all under arrest! Get him! There you are! Put your hand back and shoot him! Put up! Hungry Pops, because a touch of flame's all we need to make a flatfoot flambe. Yeah, Lupin, please don't do okay, it! Okay, but do me a favor and just marinate a little longer. Thanks, buddy. So long, see ya. 
You bastard, I'll get you for this, Lupin! Come now, Inspector, whatever your name is, have a drink uh, on us! Uh, uh, Father Lupin, knock it off! Lupin! You sure you're okay to drive? Oh, sure, I'm fine. Just fine. A little bit of alcohol like that isn't gonna affect me. You guys are a couple of lightweights. Come on, man, keep it down, will ya? Eh, jeez. You know, just for the record, I've never been hung over from drinking sake. Gee, you think maybe that's because it tastes like crap? <laughs> ah, here you are, my dear good friend and colleague, Inspector of Pennsylvania, mon ami. <laughs> Merci, thanks to you, the bottle is perfectly safe with us. <laughs> Hey, Lieutenant, you think you could get my name right if I promise not to throw up on your shoes? By the way, Inspector, would you like to help us escort the bottle to the White House in Washington, D.C.? Huh? Oh, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> Trey, for me, Dibber! <laughs> <laughs> Security's incredibly tight on this. Your tax dollars at work. Look. <laughs> Pops must have really impressed them yesterday. Looks like they made him part of the security detail. Huh. Hmm. Hey, what's up, babe? They're loading a big unmarked crate on board. Looks kind of suspicious to me. Ah, oh, yeah, good catch. We should look into that. Lupin, I'm gonna go check it out, okay? Hey, what's in that big crate we're taking on? I'm not really sure, but it's supposed to be some sort of Christmas present from France to the United States. Like what? They're not telling anybody. Not even highly placed mucky mucks like yours truly. Hmm, a Christmas present, huh? Better than wine, whatever it is. Ah, uh, poor Goyamon. Okay then, what the hell, kids? It's Christmas, you know? What do you say we lift that too? Now, Goyamon, you get on an earlier flight and head over to the airport here. Captain, hello, I'm Inspector. You are the policeman. Yes. Monsieur is an instructor. Como allez-vous? Yeah, oh, merci. Actually, it's a. Ah, bonjour, mon ami. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! What the hell's the matter with these Frenchies anyway? Uh? Bonjour. Ah, yes, Bon Jovi. Hmm? Uh, hello. What about me? Uh, no thanks. Gotta run. Bye. So it seems that Lupin never showed up. Probably too hungover to see straight after yesterday. <laughs> yep, I sure got the better of him this time. Makes you feel a little like Santa Claus flying this kind of mission, you know? Thank goodness for Zenigata. If it wasn't for him, that Lupin would be playing Grinch this Christmas. You can say that again, mon ami. <laughs> Anyone here like coffee? Oh, yeah, I'll take whatever you're serving. <laughs> oh, man. I'll be right back. Let's get this over with. Now he's flirting with me. Ah, uh, you really can't blame the old guy. He's just feeling his oats today. Yeah, well, as long as that's all he feels. Oh man, this fake nose is so itchy. Scratch it later, we got work to do. Ready? Here goes. Go ahead. 
ahead. Say it. <laughs> You're a genius, Lupin. Ready to rendezvous. Keep your eyes peeled for that truck. How the hell are we supposed to know it's him? him there. Where? See his loincloth. Oh. Must be kind of breezy under that robe. Chop, chop. Yes, sir. Okay, easy now. Pardon me, Inspector. <gasps> ah. Lupin. <laughs> we did it, Fuji Cakes! Yes! Sorry, Pops, but all's fair in love and war! <laughs> Woohoo! I got the wine! I got the wine! <laughs> Lupin! Hey, wait up! <laughs> What the hell's this damn thing? Dear Inspector, in recognition of your nearly successful efforts, here's some really cheap crap. Ha! You bastard! Ah, look out! Oh, hey, what the hell? Ah. <laughs> he got me, damn it! Hmm? What yeah. is it? What's wrong? It's Lupin, Lieutenant. Lu Lupin? <gasps> But once again, you have won the day! Well, actually, I, uh... Ah, unbelievable! You are twice the hero, Inspector Sanitation! Um, well, I mean, uh... And mothers, too! <laughs> <laughs> it's not yet Christmas morning, but here at the White House, the President is about to open a very special gift. The famous Napoleon Bordeaux, presented to him by the government of France. Oh, this'll be great, man. I can't wait to see this. Old Pops must have decided extreme discretion's the better part of valor. Oh, God. It's just like a train wreck. I want to look away, but I can't. This is the best thing on TV since My Three Samurai. It's really quite exciting, isn't it? Yes, it is. What the hell am I going to do if they find out? Crap, 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 crap. I'd like to offer a special toast to the great and generous people of France with whom we share the most precious gift of all, liberty. Merry Christmas to all! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Here it comes! Bravo! It's France in a glass! This wine's excellent! The finest I've ever tasted! Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a maroon! Oh, I wouldn't know a Bordeaux from a Bordello! <laughs> well, boys, shall we toast our success with a genuine article? <laughs> ah, hmm, I'd say it has a distinctive bouquet. Hmm, do I detect a hint of citrus? Well, it's been 200 years in the making. I say we just take our sweet time and savor it slowly. Here's to us! Merry Christmas! Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everybody! everybody. 
What in the hell is that? It's called 200-year-old vinegar. And a colossal waste of time and energy. It would appear that the joke is on us. So, is this like one of those Gift of the Magi things? Because I hate that story. Inspector, you know Lapan and his gang better than anyone. Why would they pass up a chance to steal a priceless historical artifact in favor of a crate full of dolls intended as Christmas presents for underprivileged children? Uh, it's really baffling, that's all I can say. What, what did he, he say? say? <laughs> What the <gasps> hell? Oh, man. Oh, I had one of these. It's despicable. A new loaf for Lupin. Stealing dollies from poor children. And on Christmas Eve, for heaven's sake. Everyone makes mistakes, Pops. At least we do something about ours. Huh? Lupin, what? Just look outside. Hmm? What? Where? What the hell are those things? Snow? No, wait, no clouds. Then... You know this giving thing feels pretty good. Somebody stop me! Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good heist. Quick, what's wrong with this picture? Have I finally driven the poor guy nuts? Not too far a drive for old pups, but the truth is there's a crucial fact he doesn't know the truth about and a total fantasy he thinks is true but isn't. Is that clear? I didn't think so. Well, trust me, it all hangs together very nicely in I left my mind in San Francisco. Catch you later. 